Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to Alien Protocols. I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about our magnetosphere and the big pole flip that is rumored and expected to happen. Um, my big question is, when will we lose this magnetosphere? And, of course, what happens afterwards? And so far we know that around every 300,000 years, the Earth's magnetic poles flip. So up here is the north, of course, and here's the south. And the uh, electrons and these lines of force go around the Earth from north to south in this direction. And what happens is the field lines here that protect us, they act like a uh, electromagnetic shield against radiation from space. And it's really an important part of our planet. Mars had a magnetosphere and then lost this protection. And then the sun's rays and different cosmic radiation dried up all the water on the planet. And this may be part of how planets' life cycles evolve, where they have the magnetosphere and it can accumulate water, but then over time the uh, planet cools. It gets cooler and cooler and the center cools more and more. And they say that planets have their magnetosphere created by, in the center, because it's one of the heavier elements, iron drifts down to the center more and more. And it's molten in the center of the Earth. And it rotates. And that rotation of something as conductive as uh, iron creates a, magnet a magnetic sphere, a magnetic shield, a magnetosphere even. Okay, so uh, what's been happening with the Earth is that the North Pole has been literally moving, traveling. When I was a kid, it was actually in the North. <laughs> and now it moves 34 miles a year. That is a lot. And this is what a normal magnetosphere looks like. But ours no longer looks like this. So our planet literally is just like a bar magnet. And when you think about these lines of force going from north to south on a magnet, you can understand why if you have two magnets close to each other and both of their north sides are pointing towards each other, you can see these lines of force are pushing against each other. So that's repulsive. But if you flip them the opposite way, where there's a north and a south facing each other, the lines of force are con conducive to connecting, boom. The lines are going in here and they're going up here. So they basically, boom, form this lock in a connection. That's why magnets stick together because of these magnetic lines of force, this energy that rotates in this circle fashion. It's really cool. <clears throat> but I think that there's several ways to find out what's going on here with our planet because right now we have, our magnetosphere doesn't look like this. It has weird things happening weird lines all over the place and a massive weakening right in this area it's a magnetic anomaly and there's other little magnetic anomalies um all over the place and the lines aren't this this perfect and um our planet is going through some sort of change we know that the poles have flipped several hundred times in the past hundred million years that is a lot. And in the past 200 years, the strength of Earth's magnetosphere, the strength of it has gone down 10%. That is a lot. So with our magnetosphere looking very bizarre and no longer normal, we can tell that it's in the process of some change. And this is a life or death kind of issue when you're dealing with a technological planet, where this probably wouldn't matter much, poles flipping, you know, except for animals that have, you know, uh, use the magnetosphere for navigation, perhaps, but it wouldn't be a mass extinction just from a pole flip, even with the radiation coming in from the sun. But in a technological age, wow, getting all that energy onto the earth 
and flipping of poles will cause massive disasters. So what could they do to figure this out? Can't they do models? Can't they take magnets near the end of their energy lifetime and measure them really sensitively and see if they flip a certain number of times before they stop? Maybe there's a way to study because this is essentially kind of an electric field, electromagnetic field. Maybe we could study the end life, the very end life of batteries, the very, very end, and also the very, very end life of magnets, and perhaps even circular magnets like the Earth. And how many times do they flip before they stop? And I'm sure we could do some sort of computer models that use our real planet and see how many times it flips before it stops. Because our, we haven't flipped, it's supposed to flip. So the last flip happened 780,000 years ago. We are over 380,000 years late for a flip. But it could be more than a flip. I don't know. What do you guys think?